Every year, Americans celebrate Veterans Day. But did you know since 1944, St. Louis has set aside one day to honor one soldier in particular. December 12th is Wendell Oliver Pruitt Day. The name may sound familiar, but who was the man behind it? And why was he so celebrated for decades? Pruitt was part of the first black flying unit known as the Tuskegee Airmen. They were a distinguished group who enlisted in the Army Air Corps Cadet Flying Program in 1941 and trained in Tuskegee, Alabama. Well, he's from St. Louis. He came from the Ville. That's where he was brought up, and he came from a family of 10. Wendell was the youngest of Elijah and Melanie Pruitt's large brood. Born in 1920, he attended Sumner High School and briefly studied at what is now Harris Stowe State University. He transferred to Lincoln University in Jefferson City, known in the 1940s as the Black Harvard of the Midwest, and where military traditions run deep. He was a member of Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity. He was well liked by his peers. I mean, there were several articles, you know, after his passing, you know, people reminiscent about him and very popular on campus. At the time, Lincoln University was one of three black colleges that conducted civil pilot training and is the institution that laid the foundation for Pruitt's career. And he only had like a month and a half to go to finish his degree, but he he heeded the call like a lot of other young men did on this campus. And, and it's just amazing how they uh, sacrificed themselves for their country. Prue was already a licensed pilot when he enlisted. Just two years earlier, blacks were not allowed to fly until President Roosevelt relented under pressure and ordered the civilian pilot training program. Pruitt's red tail plane was christened Alice Joe after his fiance. This display downtown at Soldiers Memorial History Museum pictures Pruitt handing a ring over for safekeeping. That ring was left with his mechanic or the young man that took care of his airplane every time he went on a mission. Known to be a quiet man, Pruitt's fellow airmen describe him as being fierce in the air. He was credited with shooting down three enemy planes and destroying eight others on the ground. But it was what happened flying over the Adriatic Sea in the Mediterranean when Pruitt and his wingman, Lieutenant Lee Archer, earned the moniker, the gruesome twosome. He'd pull ahead and I'd pull right behind him and try to stay on him. He was a heck of a pilot and just staying there sometimes was a full-time job. With no bomber or torpedoes on board, Pruitt had sunk a German destroyer the size of a football field using only machine guns. One of those bullets hit all that ammunition on deck and what should have been a small boom became a big boom. That ship was so damaged that it would have to be scuttled. And he is the only one in history, since, before, and after, that has got credit for sinking a German ship with a 50 caliber bullet. That was in 1944, and in December, St. Louis welcomed home their decorated hero. Posters were put up all over the city. A parade was planned, but cold weather forced the celebration inside City Hall. His niece, Judith Pruitt, proudly recalls this picture of her grandmother, Melanie, attending the ceremony with then-Mayor Aloysius Kaufman. Some of the uh, people that knew him that said when he visited the schools and everything, he was so kind and quiet, and but never into self at all. Yeah. To me, is to, to me the most important thing. Yeah. I like his humbleness. Captain Pruitt told his family he was anxious to return to action, flying over Europe, but his transfer was delayed due to the death of President Roosevelt. Instead, he was sent back to Tuskegee to instruct new fighter pilots. The last time he came back, he told my mother, he said, um, these airplanes are really bad news because they gave them the worst airplanes you know, just kind of junk, but they flew him. And he said when, when he goes up in the air, it feels like he's flying in a casket. Those were prophetic words. In April 1945, Captain Pruitt took a student up in a trainer plane. It crashed and both were killed. Pruitt was only 24 years old. Judith doesn't have many mementos of her famous uncle and cherishes a letter a neighborhood friend sent to his mother back in 1945. I was, of course, sorry to hear of Wendell's death, and it's indeed too bad that his Army career had to end up like that. I suppose, though, that's a pilot sticking to that kind of business for such a long period. 
but St. Louis would not forget their hero. In the 1950s, his name, along with local Congressman William Igo, was lent to the ill-fated federal housing project called Pruitt Igo. In 1984, the Pruitt Military Academy was established, but is now known as the Pruitt Charter School. And in 2007, President George Bush awarded all Tuskegee Airmen the Congressional Gold Medal, which Judith proudly keeps. And to further her uncle's legacy, Judith and her mother helped raise money for a mural by local artist Solomon Thurman, which celebrates the history of black Americans in flight. Anyone passing through Terminal 1 at Lambert Airport can spot Captain Pruitt, his wingman, and their red tail fighter plane. Captain Wendell Oliver Pruitt is buried at St. Peter's Cemetery in Normandy, Missouri.